This is Surf Radio from the Standard Hotel, Hawaiian, with Lee Higgins. Let's talk about what Hawaiian Heroes has been doing. So, Ploy, what has been going on? After February, that we done the golf tournament, our first event of ourselves. So, we did very, very nice swimming course for the whole school. So, the first time that the kids went to the swimming pool and then learned the CPR and how to swim for the first time they got very very excited and we're going to continue doing it monthly okay yes after that we built the chicken farm and support the food um, from time to time we went there cook some lunch for the children and support like a little bit of the dry food to the school also we have like the English activity with the children in the school so they can learn to speak more English and also in the near future which is Adam going to to explain we going and we are on process of building the learning center for the school and so remind me about what school that you focus on Ban Wang Khoi School okay. in Hoa Hin. Yes. And it must have been exciting, you know, <laughs> when you've done this golf event, your first golf event, yeah. and the, the funds that you raised and being able to support. How does how does that impact on not only the, the school, but yourselves? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it snowballed. Everything mm. snowballed. The, the event, the attendance, the local support, the amount raised. Uh, our ambitions were never too lofty, but they just grew and grew and grew, uh, which... Uh, uh, meant that we could plan more and more for the school as Conploy touched on uh, the learning center which has been taking up a lot of our time lately is what the focus is uh, for the Hawaiian heroes so right talk now. a little bit more about the learning center so because of the amount raised by all of the local support and and most of all we must thank our, our main headline sponsor Orchid Palm Homes Jenny and Steve have, have, have made a huge huge difference to the event so yeah. we must thank them because without businesses like uh, Orchid Palm Homes we we, we wouldn't have uh, what we're doing now. So because of the amount raised, our ambitions uh, increased, and we've been designing with a local architect and construction team okay. a, our first ever Hawaiian Heroes Learning Centre. Fantastic. Which will include a new computer room, which we will fully supply with new furniture, and new computers, uh, a fully functioning library, and a, a meeting centre. Wow. You know, you were talking about the Learning Centre, but yes. what else have you got on the books that you're thinking about doing? Uh, really, the, the focus after the Learning Centre is our second annual Hua Hin Are Heroes. Are you thinking about that already? Uh, unbelievably, it's on its way. Uh, we've just only recovered from the first I one. Know. Uh, what an event. Uh, but uh, we we're about to announce the formal date, which will be sometime in February okay. uh, next year for yes. our second golf tournament. Yeah. Now, Henrik, you are the, the fitness guy around town. I'm so. not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> you are trying, and I think you're succeeding, right? But tell us about the running festival. So, we will have a running festival. Mm -hmm. uh, next year, the 13th of September, 2025, and this is this will be one of the highlights of the heroes. We have the golf event, as Adam mentioned, and but we said let's add a second um, event. We will only do two. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. We plan this over a year, so this will be a running event that take place in Black Mountain Water Park. Okay. So we aiming to have at least four thousand runners so that's that's a big event we will have distance as we will have the first two ultra marathons in Hua Hin, so mm -hmm. that's a 50k run and a 100k run but of course we will also have family runs so 2k 5k this is mainly for the children that wants to run or parents that wants to walk or people that have a dog that wants to attend like me like you <laughs> so so we, we're trying to this is a family run so it's for everybody first of all tell us a little bit more around this festival and what it means to Hua Hin Heroes yeah absolutely we're trying to capture the essence of what Hua Hin Heroes is about but mm. also the community uh, you know this is an event where all the proceeds will be uh, used to help the children of of the Hua Hin area. Um, so we want to celebrate that. We want to celebrate the participants. You know, running even 2K is not an easy task, no. and certainly running 50 or 100K uh, deserves a uh, course for celebration. So in the evening, uh, after the race, we'll be running a full food and music festival. 
So as Henrik touched on, we'll have many local restaurants there. We're very keen on supporting local business. Uh, it's mainly the local businesses that support Hawaiian Heroes, mm. so it's nice to kind of return the favour. Uh, we'll also have a full music festival, which will include live music from local acts, but also international, uh, as well as uh, DJs. Uh, our plan is actually to have the largest ever ice bath. Well, uh, so thankfully, Black Mountain Water Park have been really accommodating, and we mm. must first of all thank Black Mountain Water Park. They've been absolutely amazing. Uh, they've almost given us free reign. Um, but we probably need the whole water park when you've got three or four thousand people. Uh, I think so. I think so. Well, it sounds like a very exciting event. And Adam, I want you to summarise about what's going on with Hurricane Heroes and. And, uh, you know what's special about it yeah so there's so much that's been going on and about to go on I'll mm. try to summarize it but after many many months of planning uh, that should we say the busy chapter starts now so mm. it's the building of the school uh, the first school it's the golf events uh, and then it's a three to four thousand uh, attendee running event um, one thing I would touch on is the support for the golf from local businesses and the community in terms of sponsorship participation and volunteering was immense mm. um, um, the running festival is on a whole different level. Yes. Uh, I think the golf event we had about 250 attendees, so three to four thousand for the running festival. Uh, there's going to be some great opportunities for uh, sponsorship, participation, volunteering, and it's going to be at every level. Mm. So we're offering water station sponsorship, main sponsorship, car sponsorships, uh, developer sponsorships. So there's no excuse for people not to be involved, right? I exactly. I mean, as Henrik touched on, our ambition is for it to be the largest uh, event of its nature in the province uh, and the fact that it's all going back into the province uh, all the children that most needed in the province mm. is is why we uh, why we do what we do we want people to engage uh, we want the restaurant to engage we want everybody in the society to support us and we also showing people this is this is where your donation goes to I think the transparency yeah, is that, very that's important. one of the key and I think that's very important to highlight we we do this to support the children we're doing it for the children and we have a passion to just do this great event in the society so I think we're trying to bring everybody together mm. and then it's been so far very successful hopefully the running event will be even more successful <laughs> I'm sure it will I've got no doubt that it'll mm. be a very successful event event and very well planned. So well done, Thank Henrik. You. Thank you, Adam, for coming in. Thank and you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.